So what's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be taking a look at one of the first roms baked for our oneplus 6 and yes oneplus 6 in theory actually supports treble so you can actually flash anything that you like but that's not the case actually right now cause brightness is broken on treble of course and you can't get bolty and another stuff working like the power slider which is still broken on this rom but this rom has been also adjusted for the notch yeah the big little notch that you get on the top the apps just overlap it or the status bar overlaps it but this rom is specially made for this specific device i mean it still runs on treble this is a treble image but it's made for one plus six so let's just take a look first of all the launcher this is the normal pixel launcher that i've installed i don't like the stock omni rom launcher it kind of feels outdated so on the left you still get your google home as you can see then let's just go to apps so you get standard amount of bloater as you can see you get google contacts and stuff into the mini g app so no issues at all but you get some of the omni rom apps such as the omni camera as you can see has not a ton of features but something that's useful actually as you can see it's the standard neo geos camera but bit of a tweaks and bit of the features removed as you can see you get the pro mode and everything manual focusing and every other stuff works which is a very great thing for first of the roms then again if you want to switch to the front camera it's kind of hard cause it's getting blocked by the notch but yeah, you get your standard features, nothing much in it. So let's go back to the home. Then we have change log, which just tells you what are the features added or decreased into the official universal ROM, nothing much in it. Then you have Chromium instead of Chrome, then you have clock, contacts, emails and equalizer. Well, this is not the equalizer that you get in Lineage OS, this is a different one. And it kind of reminds me of Samsung cause Samsung also has your standard equalizer like this. Also for the speaker, as you can see, you can turn it on. And then you also have these toggles for it, which is a very nice touch. I really love it. Then again, you have headphones, Bluetooth, pretty nice stuff, to be honest, for a standard custom ROM. Then you have file manager, gallery. Gallery is nothing special. It's just a blue gallery. Then you have email, then you have matlog. Yeah, it's for developers, nothing of use to us. Then again, you have Omni switch, which is the recent apps panel, which you get with standard Omni ROMs or pack ROM or any other ROM such as Resurrection Remix. It's just basically this thing. It's a replacement for your standard recent apps panel. It kind of looks like KitKat. It feels extremely outdated. I don't know why Omni developers are still not updating it, but you get standard features such as your RAM usage. Then again, clear out your apps, options, menu, back, home button. Then again, just, I don't know. Okay, switching apps or just clearing out everything. Pretty handy. Then you have phonograph for music. If you don't like music 11 by Cyanogen mode, this is the perfect app. And then we have photos, play store and YouTube. Nothing much in that. So let's just go to the settings. At first you get Omni gears. Now let's just take a look at the other features first of all. So let's just go to battery. You still get your standard battery features. There is no battery percentage, but you can enable into the Omni gears, which is a nice thing. Going to the display, nothing much to be honest. You get nightlight, adaptive brightness. Nightlight is currently broken as everyone says. Yep. Then you have display size, off-screen server, ambient display, tap to wake. Ambient display is none of use cause always on display is actually available in this ROM, which is a very nice touch. Then again, you have sound, storage, everything is basically the same. Now just go to system, about phone, runs of the latest and the greatest Android 8.1 officially. And nothing much to be honest over here. So let's just go to the Omni gears. Now you get standard features over here. There are no advanced features such as adjusting the number of quick settings that you get up top. So yeah, pretty handy features just baked into this ROM. So let's just go to style as you can see you get omni wallpaper system us style you can switch it for light or dark my wallpaper is kind of dark so it just switches to the black theme which i don't like you get custom header image just like resurrection remix you get device specific features such as device gestures which you get in oxygen os then ambient display such as picking up your phone then vibration motor and on 100 it really feels very powerful you get high brightness mode which just explodes your brightness then you have panel modes which are Currently, it's a lot of working as you can see night mode is broken, but it kind of dims down the colors. Then you have white color gamut, then the sRGB. I would just really suggest the off. Then you have the slider position like top silence, then center priority, but it just doesn't work as if right now. Then you have the buttons where basically standard stuff you can hide or show the keys of navigation bar if you have any kind of gesture app such as the XDS one. Then again, the recent app style as you can see AOSP stack or Omni switch and then normal stuff such as fingerprint authentication on lock screen. Then you have lock screen where you can configure various stuff of UI elements, but nothing in depth like resurrection remix. Then you have rotation, battery LED settings, uh, events, weather. Events is a very handful thing if you know how to use it. Then you have weather and system UI tuner. Well, in system UI tuner, you can just adjust quick settings, not the amount or anything of it, but you can actually select for mini mode, which is kind of goes through the notch. So no use at all. 
brightness slider on the bottom just like android p i guess then brightness slider for buttons pretty handy stuff then you have status bar where you can control various and stuff if you want to switch the clock you have to go into the miscellaneous and stuff and if you go to the navigation bar you have editor for custom navigation buttons or just the layout such as for compact you get your normal oxygen os buttons which i don't really like i really like the separated pixel like type and then again you have more now in more nothing much you get time and state of your cpu and gpu then again those mode settings and yeah that's basically it and for quick settings panel this is your stock android 8.1 quick settings panel and you get quite a lot of features over here such as picture in picture i don't really think that it's working as if right now let's just try let's just open our little face boy and let's just try picture in picture well it doesn't work google actually has fixed it well when picture picture was actually launched with android oreo it was actually working but now no nope. it just doesn't work then you have partial screenshot which i really like so for example if you tap it normal screenshot again tap it partial if you hold it the screen goes dark and then again you can just uh, drag the part that you want to screenshot which is a very nice touch i don't know why stock oxygen os doesn't have it then you have google feed sync nfc then you have disable nav bar assistant screen record yeah, and you can actually tap it for quality such as low medium and high very nice touch always on display which also works there you go from pixel 2 then you have caffeine which is just like dnd then pick notifications voice assistant which is the standard google one high brightness mode which could be handy if you just keep it right there add your network and panel modes which is just none of use as if right now so yeah that's pretty much it and for installation of this specific rom i'm not going to show as if right now cause it's kind of running on treble and it's not that easy to get this rom up and running so i will leave a link in the description for the actual project you can follow it if you have the adequate knowledge and if you want more videos on oneplus 6 such as after mi 8 and asus rog phone those phones would like literally score 300k easily on android benchmark and then again oneplus even bumped up oneplus 6 to 289 but 300k is a very sweet spot so developers were finally able to achieve that number and if you want to know how please subscribe down there and see you in the next one peace